Yo, what up? This new episode right here. This will be volume 82 of my rap album update. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all. Y'all got some snow deal. Y'all got some snow. I'm going to be viewing classic hip hop albums nonstop. You know what I mean? This will be the 20th anniversary edition. Reason being because we're viewing the album that just turned 20 years old today. And that album will definitely have to be this album right here. DITC's first debut album together as a group. DITC, self titled. Released in 2000. All my real hip hop heads must know about DITC, aka Digging in the Crates, a legendary hip hop group or collective, as you want to say. You know, group from New York consists of Diamond D, Lord Finesse, Showbiz and AG, Fat Joe, Big L, Rest in Peace, OC, and Buck Wild. You know what I mean? You know, they known for putting out classic material throughout the 90s. You know, like Lord Finesse, Funky Technician. Diamond D, Stunts, Blunts, and Hip Hop, Fat Joe's first three albums, OC's first two albums, World Life and Jewels, Big L, Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous, and The Big Picture, you know what I mean, Show and AG with Runaway Slave and Goodfellas, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, North Ness with The Awakening, you know, Bug Wild being one of the most slept on producers in my opinion, he doesn't really get the props that he deserves, like, he would do some of my favorite shit throughout the, you know, Throughout the 90s and you know hip hop in general, you know what I'm saying? Like he would do some shit for some of your favorite artists. He had some dope remixes as well. You know what I'm saying? And um this album was definitely highly anticipated because you know DITC they was making a lot of noise during this period. But um sorry about that. But um, you know, unfortunately before this album came out, you know, Big L, you know, he passed away in 1999 because you know he was murdered in Harlem. And you know, that pretty much shocked the whole hip hop world. So um and you know this album was supposed to come out in 99 too, but it got pushed back by, you know, by Tommy Boy and shit. And, you know, finally in 2000, this album came out. You know what I'm saying? Um, this, the singles that this album is known for are Thick, Get Yours, Way of Life, Where You At. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that's one of the singles, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and Day One. Yeah, Day One. But that song was made back in 97, but they decided to put it on this album. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. This is DITC, all right? Now, the producers on the, um, they got some, the, the producers on this album are, you know, Showbiz, Buck Wild, Diamond D, Lord Finesse, DJ Premier, Rock Wilder, and Ahmed. You know, the guest appearances on this album are Big Pun, Rest in Peace, 20 Years Since His Death, Armageddon from Terror Squad, Milano, Cuban Link, um, KRS One, and I believe that's it. Yeah, those six guest appearances on the album. All right, let's get to it, shall we? All right, track number one, thick. That features AG, Big L, and OC. Oh my God, very dope song right there. Great way to start the album. You know what I mean? That joint right there is fire. The slamming beat by DJ Premier. You know, O, Big L, and AG all did it. Think I think Big L, he definitely had the best verse. Like, the way he just float in his joint right here was just unbelievable. Like, I, I can't believe it, man. Like, he, his life got cut short, you know what I mean, at that very young age. Like, he would have been to the next level, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he was going to get signed with Rockefeller. But, fortunately, that took, uh, but, fortunately, he got killed by some motherfucker out in Harlem and shit. So, but I don't even want to go, you know, full detail of that. Y'all know the deal. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, but Thick, that was a very dope track. An amazing album opener from start to finish. Definitely a, a, a slept on you know, primo produced track, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You know, just talking about DITC wrote Thick from town to town. You know what I'm saying? So, you know the deal. Um... Track number two, Get Yours, featuring Big L, OC, and Diamond D. That joint right there was dope. I prefer the remix that was vinyl release only, if I'm not mistaken. But that joint right there was dope. Um, You know, they all come through correct. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing to it. You know what I mean? Um, Track number three, Where You At, featuring Big Pun and Milano. That's like a collab between them two. Um, Big Pun, one of the best ever, bless the mic. He doesn't really get the credit that he deserves. You know what I mean? The first Latin MC to go platinum. You know, um, it was getting hot off Capital Punishment. He was doing his thing, a lot of guest appearances, just killing shit. 
you know what I mean? Like, he fucking murdered this shit right here. Milano, he was definitely ill, too, with the pen. You know what I mean? He was a very dope MC. Um, very dope beat by Showbiz, by the way. Definitely one of the best songs of this album. You know what I'm saying? Um, Track number four, Way of Life, featuring Armageddon, a terror squad with Big L and Fat Joe. That was a very dope track right there. You know what I mean? Nothing to it. Track number five, Day One. That Diamond D, Big L, AG, Lord Finesse, Fat Joe on the chorus, and OC. Classic right here. Like, this is an underground classic. I mean, all the real hip hop heads must know what to do about this joint right there. Um, Puffy, Jay Z, and Biggie also used the same sample for Young G's on the Noah Yow album, which came out that same year, 97. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, this is a very dope posse cut right here. Like, they just all fucking murdered this shit. OC had my favorite verse. Like how the way he just ended off that track was just so flawless. And I'm in a minority, but OC, he was always my favorite member of DRTC. A lot of people might say Big L, but it's something about OC, man. Like he doesn't really get, you know, that, that prop. He deserves more props. I mean, like Word Life and Jewels, some of the illest shit I've ever heard in my fucking entire life. You know what I mean? I will be doing a review on Word Life one day, so stay tuned for that. Jewels as well, you know what I mean? Because those arms deserve more recognition that it should have, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's very slept on, very underrated, but they all came correct, especially Big L and Dami D started off the joint nice and finesse, you know what I mean? Fucking fire. That's a banger right there. Love that track. Um, Track number six, Hey Love, featuring Manalo and Cuban Link, OC on the chorus. They both of them did a thing. Definitely one of my favorites off the album. That was produced by Lord Finesse. You know what I mean? Bre Decca Bragger is also track right there. Um, track number seven, Foundation. You know, that's Diamond D, OC, AG, Lord Finesse. This is a cool track. Not one of my favorites. You know what I mean? It was alright. Um, track number eight, Champagne Thoughts. That's an OC solo, tr OC solo track. Hands down, my favorite track off this whole album. I mean, that was produced by Buck Wild. Love the piano sample. OC just fucking went off on this shit right here. You know what I mean? Like, just punch. Oh, my God. Listen to the song for yourself. That's all I got to say. Um, Track number nine, Ebonics, the Primo remix. That's like a DJ Premier remix. You know what I mean? Um, the original was on the big picture, which came out the same year, a couple months later, 2000. I will be doing a review on that this summer. You know what I mean? Um... I like this one a lot better, but that doesn't take away from the original because the original was hot too. You know what I mean? You know, Big L just talking about, you know, being like the urban dictionary, pretty much telling you what words mean. It diff and no, just breaking shit down. You know what I mean? That's just out of his time. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so classic. Um, Tread number 10, Drop It Heavy, featuring Kiara's one and Big Pun. That's for AG. Um, another fire track right there. You know what I mean? They just. Keras and Big Pun just body this. AG did his thing. Slam and beat right there. Um, Track number 11, The Enemy. That features Fat Joe and Big L. That was also on Big L's um, The Big Picture. You know what I mean? Another um, joint produced by Premier. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just talking about getting pulled over by the cops. You know what I mean? With how the police are when it comes to, you know, the with the niggas and shit with black people and, and all that type of stuff thinking they'll be up to no good and shit like that you know what I mean just locking us up and trying to throw away the key you know what I mean one of my favorite DJ Premier beats of all time you know what I'm saying track number 12 Stan Strong featuring Big L Lord Finesse AG and OC another one of my favorites off the album you know what I mean like this right right there it goes hard you know what I mean I love that beat you know what I'm saying they all killed this shit um Track number 13, Weekend Nights. That's an AZ, a, a AG solo track. Excuse me for my, um, I'm, I'm, I don't know, but I, I just woke up, so I just had to do this review. Um, uh, yeah, that was an AG solo track. That joint right there was dope. He did his thing. Um, track number 14, Thick, Rock Wild Remix. I did not like this remix at all. You know what I mean? It was too poppy for them. You know what I mean? Especially for a group like the ITC. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't feeling it. And the last track, um, track number 15, Tribute, that features OC, AG, and Lord Finesse. This is a track, you know, paying tribute to Big L, you know what I mean? Because, you know, like I said, he died a year prior to this album coming out, you know what I mean? Um, definitely a fucking solid, uh, amazing tribute. Love that beat, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
such an emotional type track, you know what I mean? Like, it just really makes you shed tears. You witness how much of a great MCL was, but he got his shine taken from him. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, yo. Recipes, Big L. You know what I mean? Harlem's finest. All right. Sorry for the noise in the background. Don't pay that on mine. Okay, um, by far, this is a very solid album, especially coming from DITC. I feel like it could have been a lot better, if you ask me. But if this album came out around like 97, 98, 96, it would have been a classic. I mean, it would have been a, a much better album than expected. But this is not bad. You know what I mean? Like, this album got some fire. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, Thick, um, Champagne Thoughts, Day One, Tribute, Stand Strong, The Abonics, Mixed. I mean, The Enemy, Drop It Heavy. I mean, it's just solid, all around dope album. You know what I'm saying? But. If the big picture, we all know the big picture was a better album than this. But if you fans know real hip hop, DITC, Big L, then I highly recommend you checking out this album. If you fan, you know beats and rhymes. Um, this album's actually out of print, but if you could find it, go pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm but I hate to say this, but when Big L passed, it wasn't the same. That's all I gotta say. But you know what I mean. But hey. Luckily, we finally got an album from them, you know what I mean? And this album proves it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is DITC, self-titled DITC, release 2000, must cop. That was if a, um, volume 82 of my rap album update. Hope you enjoyed it. Salute.